Michelle, doesn't that electronic billboard just tell you, like, <laughs> don't put your high beams onto the fog, right? Exactly. I mean, it's just a big glaring uh, uh, <laughs> sign in the distance there. Yeah. And you know what? It's foggy everywhere, but, but not really. We're going to higher elevations. It's not foggy in the mountains. Your snow report brought to you by Worcester Blackcomb. And it is crystal clear up above. It's also warming up. Seven degrees now measured at the alpine elevation. Your snowpack, 134 centimeters. Expected to be a beautiful weekend at Worcester. Tomorrow, sunny all day long. A little bit more cloud cover on Sunday. No threat of any wind. No chance of any precipitation right through this weekend for Worcester and Black. Home. It's also quite mild on top of some of the local hills. Mount Seymour reporting a base of 138 centimeters, now up to six degrees above under a clear sky. The temperature on the high side of freezing on Cyprus, 100 centimeters your total snowpack, plus four currently as we go even higher towards the peak of Grouse Mountain. At the top of the temperature inversion, check out these temperatures 11 degrees above zero under the stars for this morning. And it's very warm on the island as well at higher elevations into the Alpine from Mount Washington, plus nine and mostly clear right now. Now. So you know the pattern is not changing at all on the hills throughout the course of the weekend. It'll change down here in the lowest levels, though. We'll get some sun today. We'll get some sun in the afternoon only tomorrow, not in the morning. Say about 8 degrees, give or take. Sunday, I don't think we see any sunshine at all. Eventually, that fog and low cloud becomes completely widespread right through Sunday and Monday. And then the rain starts to fall. Looks like we get a few days' worth of showers next week. And it's cold enough for snow to be falling on the ski hills. A good news ski hill forecast in the long range, Michelle.